Hello YouTube lovers. This is Raptor 2V268. I'm uh, we just got a uh, together a new tank here and I wanted to show you how to test for the carbonate hardness. And I just bought a new test kit. It's a uh, cellifer. And um, this is what it comes with. It comes with a little vial, some uh, liquid to test it with, some regiment, a little um, five milliliter syringe, a one milliliter syringe, and a check solution, and um, and then a little cross reference chart here. This is. Uh, the ideal range you want your tank, your saltwater tank, to be in. Um, let me explain a little bit about some some of the stuff. This check solution. You can read it. It uh, it says uh, alkalinity check solution. This is actually you uh, do the test using this stuff to check this solution to make sure it's still good. So it's um, kind of threw me through a loop when I seen this because it really doesn't explain it in the instruction manual. So um, let me get started here. I got a little bit of that test. I got a little bit of water out of that tank a little while ago. And let's uh, let's test it and see how, uh, how much uh, uh, carbonated hardness alkalinity we have into the tank here. Okay, first thing you do is you take this syringe and you fill it up with four milliliters of water out of the tank. So that's what we'll do here. I got it pre-marked so Let's see if we can get that air bubble out of there. There we go. Okay, we have four milliliters. I don't know if you can really see that, but that's where it's at, the four milliliter mark. Put that aside. Put it in here. Oops, sorry about that. Just gonna hold my. I made this thing so it would hold some of my test tubes. So we're gonna put four milliliters of water from the tank into this uh, jar here. Now with this uh, KH ink, you gotta shake it. I guess it probably settles a little bit, you know. And then you put two drops of this into this vial here. One, two, there you go. Make sure you put the cap on tight. Okay, now this syringe is a one milliliter syringe. And uh, in the directions, it's pretty good with the directions on this. It tells you fill it up to one milliliter and there'll be an air gap in there from this because there's air in there right now. So when you get here, to one milliliter, it'll the air that's here is actually the taken up from the fluid that's in here, so it'll just just one milliliter. So let me put it in here. Now, actually, we take this solution here, this KH solution, and we fill it up with one milliliter from this syringe. Okay, now here's what the solution looks like. It's a little blue. 
and um, I don't know if you could see it but there's an air gap there I'm at the one milliliter mark and there's a little air gap it's about I don't know if you can see it but anyway you just have to take my word for it okay we got it at one milliliter now what we need to do I've already done this test so what we need to do is start adding it to this solution adding it to the solution and then we'll read the read the uh, what's left in the syringe and we'll cross-reference it with that chart on the paper and what we're looking for is a color change I'm slowly pushing down on the syringe I'm slowly adding and shaking at the same time now we're gonna get close to the color change right now I've seen it I don't know if you can see it but starting to change and that was it changed from blue to a pink pinkish red okay and it changed from blue to pink now we read this numbers on the syringe here which is one two three four and then there's little graduation graduations up there so it's one two three four about five so it's it's a uh, point four five on the syringe so we'll come to this chart here and we'll look for on this first column we'll look for 0.45 which is right right a little bit a little bit above that line right here so four five four six to four eight I don't know if you can see that okay four five which is right in between these two lines which is um, it's like point at nine point oh in uh, DKH and about three point two uh, alkalinity so my tank that's what my tank is in calcium hardness or yeah, carbonated hardness so it's not really in the range here so I have to adjust that so that's it that's my uh, my uh, sulfur test kit that we just got I hope that um, help some people out there in YouTube land. Talk to you later. Bye.